Hi, this is Orlando from Nero Studio with another short video tutorial. And today tutorial we're going to be talking about how to embed a flash in HTML. Doing a request on YouTube, someone left a, a comment or question asking me how to embed a flash in HTML. Of course, there's a couple ways to insert flash in HTML using Adobe Dreamweaver. If you don't have Dreamweaver, you can use a free application. I used to use uh, Notepad, that's for Windows users, Notepad++. And also there is a Coda for Mac user. I don't know if that's free, but you can search in Google and check this out if it's um, free or you have to pay something, but I don't think so that would be expensive. So let's show you the final result, what we're gonna be creating today. Here is the final result. Here we got the flash gallery and also it's uh, wrapped by a nice um, 15 pixels frame with the round corners. Down here we got the copyright text and also I'm going to be teaching the how to add this um, copyright symbol. This tutorial I'm not going to show you how to use HTML and CSS. The, I'm just doing this is because I need uh, to help someone he made a, a website in HTML, of course he made a great job, but there's a little problem with the background. If we see to the right side and the bottom side, the background is repeated. I told him, you know, there's a little problem with the background, and he said he doesn't say anything on his computer. Of course he won't see anything because he's using 15-inch monitor. But in my case, I'm using 27 inch, so that's why I'm seeing this uh, problem. Some people use 30 inch monitor, and of course, they will see the problem as well. And that's why I'm gonna make a couple lines of HTML and the CSS. So let's uh, go back to the final project. And so, if you see, we got this um, nice um, frame. And also we got the image, and down here we got the copyright text. So before to uh, embed in the uh, Flash in HTML, we need to have the Flash project ready to embed in HTML. So you just go on YouTube, read the description. Down here we got the link where to download the project. So just click and, and save it. But I'm not going to save it because I already downloaded And so let's go back to my folder. As you see, I create a folder named 04-27-13-tut. This is very important you to have in the same folder all the files you're going to be using. In case you're planning to upload to the server, so you, don't, you won't have any problem beyond online. So that's why I have my flash project and also my image folder then just after it's been said just go and open up dreamweaver here we got dreamweaver and let's create a new file and doc type html5 so you don't have to add the uh, HTML5 extension because Dreamweaver automatically is adding this, this uh, code. See, only, the only thing we need is to have the, the sweep file. So I go back to my folder. And we don't have the, the sweep file generated. So the way to generate it is uh, open with Flash. Open this in Flash. I'm going to open with Flash CS5 and go to control test the movie in a flash professional and then close and then minimize flash and go back to my folder and here we got our swift file extension so let's minimize this and go back to dreamweaver and just place the mouse after the open body tab and also then we need to go insert media and sweep file but before embedding this or inserting the uh, sweep file we need to save this as an uh, html so as i say you make sure it's in the same folder so let's call this index that html hit save 
now just go and up to the open body tag and add a note and so let's say this is for flash button in gallery if we go to design and here we got the text it's uh, this is for flash so let's highlight it and go insert uh, media swift and it's as where do you have your swift file so let's select this and hit ok the other way to have this let me just delete this the other way to insert is to have this insert panel to the right side and Dreamweaver if you don't see this panel just go on window and make sure the insert is checked once you have this just click insert media sweep file so just, uh, select the sweep file extension and then hit ok uh, I don't want to add any name anything so just hit ok so there it is it's embedded in HTML just play and see it works fine so let's let's save the file it's asking to save the JavaScript as well so let's say hey yes or oh, okay then we need to prevent Firefox and see if it works of course it's working but it's a little problem it's aligned to the left and so uh, we don't want this we want it to be aligned to the center so let's close this and go back to Dreamweaver and go back to the code make sure you are in the HTML code not the and the JavaScript code so after the open open body tag we need to add another div ID container so div div of division that's uh, which gonna be wrapping wrapping the uh, the sweep file so let's say div ID let's give a name container and also we need to close this div ID container before the closing body tab we need to close this div ID container so let's close this and, and let's save it system Firefox of course anything happened let's go back to Dreamweaver and add a CSS type so let's uh, uh, you know after the JavaScript line code let's uh, open a style and also let's close this style sheet oh come on being where is adding but okay so here we got the a style sheet and between the open and closing tab we need to uh, reset the body first so let's say body open brackets and close brackets in between we gonna say margin to zero oh come on Jim I don't like this I'm doing this running with all the time that's what I like to use um not bad but you can customize also Jim Weavers if you don't want to be like the same headache with this so but I'm not going to show you how to customize because I don't use much Dreamweaver so let's go back to this make sure it's not cup lag so let's say body and say margin zero and down here we are gonna to add uh, this ID selector which is the container so let's for the for the div ID we have to add the hash pound so let's say container open brackets and close brackets and then uh, you know we need to say oh come on we will write like this shit okay so let's say margin auto And also, let's give a width 900 pixels. 
okay so you will ask him where he is getting this 900 perks away so let me go back to my flash project and here we got this size is 900 by 600 so let's go back to Dreamweaver and also let's give a border uh, 15 pixels no you know it's uh, we need to add a color as well so let's say solid pound key and let's say f5 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 and also we're gonna add um co background color back and the same color of the border so let's say a5 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 and let's see save this and go back to the page and refresh and here we go we got line to the center and also we got the 15 pixels border but there's a little problem i don't like all the way up to the top i need margin this at least 50 or 100 pixels down so let's go back to Dreamweaver and say you know what i need to i need to go down 50 pixels so let's say top 50 pixels and the left and right outer so let's save this and, and refresh the page nice we have 50 pixels margin from top and then also we need to add the round corner to this frame so let's go back to Dreamweaver and say I need to uh, border radius uh, 5 pixels and also we need to add another property for the earlier um, browsers like Firefox or Safari or, or Google Chrome so let's say for Firefox is most um, border radius 5 pixels for Safari let's say WebKit border radius 5 pixels let's save control s and, and pc and command s and mac to save if you don't want to be all the time you just go into file and then save so let's um, refresh the uh, page here we go this um, frame with the round corners so let's set the background to the body let's set this same image as background so let's just copy from my let's copy this and I have this folder this um, 04-24 that 13th that I made on April 24th and April 24th and so let's copy this image copy go back to my folder and image and just paste it all right go back to Dreamweaver and say you know I need to apply a background image to the body so let's say bar ground image um so you know where we have its uh, URL image for slash and let me see the name it's IMG then just copy this so we don't have to be remaining so let's paste it and also the extension is jpg make sure if you're using gif so you have to 
uh, that j uh, gif if you use a png of course uh, should be that png and then let me just save go back to my page and refresh with this one there we go we got this nice uh, flash gallery aligned to the center and also margin 50 pixel from the top and we got the image background and also we got this um, 15 pixels of frame so let's add the copyright text down here on the bottom so let's go back to Dreamweaver all the way down after or before the the uh, D by D container closing tag we need to add another D by D so let's say D by D you know what I'm gonna add a class div class so let's say div class um, Hold on. Okay, let's name it this copy rights. And here we're gonna add the copyright symbol. So let's, I think the code is on symbol pound key. Uh, and 169 and semicolon and also we're going to add the year so let's say 2012 to 2013 near studio let's save go back to the page refresh here we got the copyright text and also the copyright symbol but I need to change this to uh, dark gray, not too dark because now we have black for default. And also let's align to the center. So go back to Dreamweaver up here down after the closing bracket. Let's add the, the class selector we, which we just added down here, the copyright. As I said before, for the D by D, we have to add the um, cash bound. For the class, we have to add a period. So let's say copy right open brackets and close brackets. And so let's say I need a color to be. Um, I don't know, six, 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 and also I need to be the text align to the center. Let's see. So let's close this and let's start with Notepad++. So go back to Dreamweaver and let's uh, just close Dreamweaver and go back. No, let's open Notepad++. I have this project. So let's make a new project and call. Let's uh, save this. Uh, so make sure to save in the same folder where we have the the uh, swift file so it was in 27 third and so let's name it this gallery because we have index so i don't want to be to i don't want to replace it so let's uh, name it gallery that html and not plus you have to add the extension and dreamweaver you don't have to i uh, just uh, type the name and Gene will uh, Gene Weaver will add the uh, extension automatically. Okay, so let's hit save. And for the HTML rules, so let's add so let's say dark type HTML 
that's for the HTML5 and also we need to open the HTML tag and close the HTML tag I forgot to add the forward slash and in between we need to add of course the the hair tag so let's open the hair tag and close and also we need to open the body tag so in between we can add the or embed the uh, the flash unfortunately in L plus we cannot just go insert media swift the same way we made in Dream Weaver. that's why I was wondering how to embed flash and HTML using, using notepad plus plus or if you're using Coda it would be the same process so that's why I create this code so the only thing you have to do is download from my page down below in the description will be the link to download so you will got the flash project and also the code so make sure highlighted the code what it says object all the way down to the closed object tab so let's uh, make a right click and copy go back to our gallery html document and right click and paste and here we need to change a couple things the name and the dimensions of your project flash project so let's change where it says value we need to change to gallery that's the name we have that's 24 let me see 27 see it's gallery that's with so and also we need to change down here and say gallery and we need to change the dimensions so let's go back to flash and make sure the dimensions of course we're gonna use the same it's 900 by 600 so go back to notepad plus plus and I already have 900 by 600 but if you are trying to make a banner so just make sure to change the name and also the dimensions the width and the height so let's uh, change to 900 and also 600 down here also we have to change the width and the height to 900 600 and just go file and save let's preview on Firefox and see how it looks of course it's working perfect you don't have to do anything else so if we go back to the notepad plus plus if we take a look we don't have to add any javascript code or we don't have to create another folder to storage the javascript function anything like dreamweaver does of course and dreamweaver you don't have to do dreamweaver does by itself so with this couple lines of code you embed a flash in html using notepad plus plus so as i said before that would be the same process if you're using coder so go ahead and download the project and you will have the code just copy and paste and make sure to change the name and also the dimensions that's all you don't have to do anything else so go back to the page and see also we have a little problem it's aligning to the center I'm sorry it's aligning to the left but we want to align to the center and also add the border and the text and the copyright text so it's the same we made in, in Dreamweaver so let's go back to notepad plus plus after the open body tag we need to add a div ID so let's say the ID we name it you name and name it 
container. And also we need to close this ID, this div ID container. So before the closing body tag, we need to close this div tag and just save. Okay. And also in between the open head tag and closing head tag, we need to add the star sheet. So let's say uh, let's open the star sheet tag. No, so let's close. Okay, in between the open here, in between the open and closing star sheet tag, let's add the the body selector open bracket and you know let's say I need to reset this to margin zero so let's say margin zero and also I need to start this div ID container here's a little problem it's not plus it's equal okay so I'm sorry I didn't see all right to go back to your style and out of the style at uh, the container style selector so for the ID we have to add uh, the hash pound and let's say container open brackets close brackets and between we need to align this to center so the property will be will be margin auto and also let's add a width so that's uh, width 900 pixels and also let's add uh, the border so let's border 15 pixels solid hash pan the color let's say f5 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 like the same we made in Dreamweaver and then we need to add a background color as well so let's say background So I'm gonna give the same value is F5, 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 and save. And let's uh, refresh the page. We got the 15 pixels frame, but there's a little problem with aligning to the center. So let's see what happened. Uh, okay, here is the problem. We type O instead of A. So let's say A and then save. Go back to the page. Refresh. Ding, ding. There we have the object aligned to the center. And also we have this like 15 pixels from the top. So let's margin this as well 15 pixels so go back to notepad so you know I need to go down 50 pixels and save it I need to margin from the top 50 pixels and the right and left I want to be out of so let's go back to the page and select and refresh the page and here we go 50 pixels from the top so let's add the round corner to this frame so so let's say you know I need to border radius to be 5 pixels for the other um, browsers let's add most border radius 
Cloud Packs as well. And also for the Safari, let's add a WebKit Safari or or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So let's say border radius five pixels. And let's oh hold on here's a little messed up. So let's say uh, we have to add the WebKit first. So WebKit. Okay, let's save, refresh the page, and there we have. Nice. So go back to Notepad and add the copyright text down at the bottom. So after or before the closing body tag, we need to add a div ID. So div ID. Now let's add the same we did in Dreamweaver. So add a class, div class, class. So let's name this copy right, and let's add the copyright symbol that was uh, and symbol hash pound in 169 the year 2012 to 2013 and also another my name which is Nero studio now let's save it and go back to my page refresh and there is a little problem it's not in the container so go back to notepad we have to put this in the same container so highlight it and cut and add this line of code on before the div id container closing tag so let's paste it and save go back to my page refresh the page and there we have and also we gonna align to center and change the text color so go back to notepad add another line of a star sheet so let's say for the div class we have to add a period not the dash pan so let's add period there was copy right open brackets and close brackets and let's say I need this to be the text color the color let's say the same 666 and also I need to align the text to the center so let's say text align to center now let's save go back to my page refresh the page and there we have we got the copyright code we got the copyright symbol and also the text aligning to the center but there's a little problem uh, I was trying to say 2012 to 2013 but I, I, I typed 29 so let's go back to my HTML or gallery HTML document and make a change so just add the zero instead of nine so let's save and refresh the page and there we have all right let's add the background 
to the body so let's go back to my notepad plus plus and make sure to make to have the image background in the same folder you know we already made on Dreamweaver so I don't have to be remaining you again for but in case so let's copy this the name and go back to my gallery HTML document and go all the way up to the body selector mm, so background image and let's say the URL is we got in the uh, in the image folders so say image forward slash and copy the name which was this one and just uh, copy and paste it in here and also we can add the extension which is jpg if you're using gif so that's um, the extension so you have to add that gif or png so it would be that png all right so let's save this and refresh the page oh there's a little problem i don't know what's going on with so let's go back to and make sure what's the problem so let's see oh here is a problem we mess up the g so just add the g and save it go back to my page refresh and there we have this nice image gallery embedding in html and also we added the copyright symbol and the copyright text as well and hope this helps to fix this problem okay so I think this is all for today once again the project will be available down below in the description will be the link just download and copy the code if you're using notepad plus plus or coda if you're using dreamweaver so you don't have to copy the code okay so please subscribe on youtube and also follow me on facebook and twitter for the latest tutorial that's coming up okay thanks so much enjoy